ever get that feeling, you know, like you're just one idea away from changing the world? Mm -hmm. That's kind of how Nikola Tesla seemed to live his life, right? Yeah. Just buzzing with ideas, some, well, brilliant. Right. And some, well, a bit out there. Yeah, a little out there for sure. But in 1899, Tesla picked up these strange signals, mm -hmm. rhythmic pulses, mm -hmm. that left him convinced, like really convinced, mm -hmm. he'd stumbled onto something huge E. And that's what makes this deep dive so fascinating, right? Uh -huh. yeah. We're tackling not just Tesla, the like genius inventor, yeah. but Tesla as this like cosmic detective. Oh, wow. Chasing after signals that could totally rewrite what we know about, well, everything. Exactly. Okay, so we've got excerpts from these old articles. Okay. Tesla's own writing. Wow. Even a scientific paper that uh, it throws a whole new light on these signals. Really? So are you ready? I am. Let's do it. All right. We're diving deep into the mind of Nikola Tesla yeah. to see if he really did pick up a message from another world. And to understand why Tesla like immediately jumped to extraterrestrials, but yeah. we need to understand the world he was living in. Right. Like, forget smartphones, forget Wi-Fi. Right. Back then, even sending a message across the Atlantic, that was a big deal. Right. No pressure, Tesla. <laughs> Just invent the future of communication, why don't you? <laughs> But seriously, this guy, he was a rock star. He was. Born in 1856. Okay. Tesla was this Serbian-American engineer who, he basically gave us the modern electrical grid as we know it today. That's right. Like, you know how we rely on electricity for, like, everything? Pretty much, yeah. Thank Tesla's AC system for that. It's amazing, isn't it? He was, like battling Thomas Edison at the time. Oh, wow. And his DC system. Can you imagine, like, the scientific showdowns. I know. But Tesla's AC system won out wow. with inventions like the induction motor. Mm -hmm. It proved to be like way more efficient, right. more powerful. It was a total turning point. Well, a victory that like lit up the world, literally. Talk about a bright idea. <laughs> but Tesla didn't stop there. Oh, no. He was always tinkering. Yeah. Always pushing the boundaries. Constantly. He created the Tesla coil. Right. This incredible invention. Yeah. That shoots out those, like, lightning-like sparks. Have you ever seen one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You might have even seen one, you know, like at a science museum. Yeah, they're amazing. And those coils weren't just for show. Right. Tesla used them to experiment with wireless power. Wow. Even wireless lighting. Really? Yeah. He envisioned this world where energy just flowed freely, mm. wirelessly, across vast distances. He's just basically trying to beam power like something out of Star Trek. I know. But to truly understand how far Tesla's vision went, yeah. we need to head west. Okay. To Colorado Springs. Okay. In 1899. Okay. That's where he built this lab to test his wildest ideas. Right. And that's where those mysterious signals really enter the picture. And what's so intriguing is that these weren't just any signals. Right. Tesla was hearing these like really distinct rhythmic pulses, mm. unlike anything he'd ever encountered before. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. Right. So Tesla's in Colorado Springs, yeah. surrounded by these giant coils, right. hearing what he believes are signals from space. It's incredible. I know. Yeah. So what was going through his mind? What did he think he had stumbled upon? To understand that, we need to look at some of the other projects he was working on at the time. Okay. Things like, you know, his grand vision for awarding Cliff Tower. Right. And his theories about harnessing cosmic energy. Okay. And that's where we'll pick up in part two of our deep dive. Tesla's move to Colorado Springs, it was a turning point. Right. Not just for his career, yeah. but for this whole mystery as well. I see. You see, Tesla wasn't just like dabbling in wireless power. Yeah. He was swinging for the fences, you know? Yeah. Aiming to build a system that could transmit power globally. And this is all happening like before cell phones. I know. Before the internet. Yeah. Even before radio was really a thing, right? Exactly. Tesla's lab in Colorado Springs, I mean, it was like something out of a science fiction novel, really. Oh, yeah. He built these massive coils, even bigger than the ones that he used for wireless lighting. Wow. And began experimenting with transmitting power wirelessly right. on a much larger scale. Yeah. We're talking about generating artificial lightning bolts, like millions of volts strong. No wonder people called him a mad scientist. Uh -huh. But amidst all these sparks, right? Yeah. And like 
grand experiments. Right. How do those mysterious signals, how do they fit in? Well, remember, Tesla was also building Wardenclyffe Tower during this period. Right. It was supposed to be like his masterpiece, you know. Oh, wow. This gigantic structure designed to transmit power wirelessly across the Atlantic, mm -mm. maybe even around the world. It's such a shame it never got finished. Like, can you imagine a world powered wirelessly by Tesla's inventions. It's incredible. Classic case of ambition clashing with reality. Right? Yeah, yeah. The project was just like incredibly expensive. Let me see. And Tesla's financial backer, JP Morgan, Yeah. eventually he pulled the plug. Talk about a power cut. <laughs> so Wardenclyffe never really like lived up to Tesla's dreams. Unfortunately, no. But even without it, yeah. he was still coming up with these mind-blowing ideas, right? Oh, absolutely. Like that whole cosmic ray motor thing. Oh, yeah. Tesla's mind, it was always buzzing, you know? I bet. He was fascinated by this idea of harnessing energy from the cosmos. Mm -hmm. Not just the sun, right. but cosmic rays, right? Yeah. These high-energy particles that are constantly bombarding Earth from space. Yeah. He even claimed to have built a motor powered by this cosmic energy. Okay, now that's just straight out of a comic book. I know. But, hey... This is the guy who invented the AC system, right? It's true. So who are we to say it's impossible? Exactly. But back to those signals he picked up in Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. What makes them so mysterious? It's not like he was the only one listening to the radio waves yeah. back then, right? That's the thing. He practically was the only one. Oh, wow. Marconi was just starting out in Europe. Hmm. And there were no other comparable wireless stations like in existence. I see. So when Tesla heard those signals, yeah. those distinct rhythmic pulses, right. he knew they weren't coming from any known terrestrial source. Okay, now I'm starting to see why Tesla thought he was picking up a message from, like, E.T. Exactly. Wow. Imagine being Tesla in that moment. Yeah. Alone in his lab, surrounded by, like, crackling electricity yeah hearing these signals from the unknown yeah it's like something out of a movie it really makes you wonder right what if there was more to it yeah. than just like static and interference yeah what if tesla really did like intercept a message from another world right i mean it sounds crazy but that's where our modern understanding of the universe comes in okay and why sometimes like even a misinterpretation yeah can lead to these fascinating discoveries okay you see there's a scientific explanation for those signals. Okay. One that involves a celestial body much closer to home. Hmm. Closer than aliens, but further than Colorado Springs. Yes. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Okay, so I've got Tesla hearing what he believes are like alien messages. Right. But you're saying there might be a simpler explanation? Maybe, yeah. Something closer to home than another galaxy? Much closer. Remember how Tesla was picking up signals in the uh, the kilometric range? Right. Well, it turns out that Jupiter, mm. our solar system's biggest planet, right. it's like a giant radio station what? broadcasting in those exact same frequencies. Wait, Jupiter has its own radio show? What's it playing? Like Space Jams? Not quite. Think of it more like a powerful hum. Okay. A natural phenomenon yeah. caused by charged particles interacting with Jupiter's magnetic field. Yeah. And get this. Yeah. One of Jupiter's moons, Io, right. actually makes these radio signals even stronger. So it's like Io is like cranking up the volume on Jupiter's radio transmitter. That's a great way to put it. You see, yeah. Io is volcanically active, mm. spewing out charged particles yeah. that get caught in Jupiter's magnetic field. That's like uh, a giant electrical circuit, you know? Yeah. Boosting those radio waves and sending them out across space. Okay, but wouldn't something block those signals before they reach Earth? I mean, we can't just, like, tune into Jupiter on our car radio, can we? You're right. Our atmosphere, it usually acts like a shield, yeah. blocking most radio waves in that frequency range. Yeah. But here's the catch. Yeah. There are these like windows in the ionosphere, that layer of our atmosphere that, you know, often blocks radio waves. Right. And under certain conditions, yeah. like during periods of uh, low solar activity, okay. these windows open up, allowing some radio waves to slip through. So Tesla might have just gotten lucky. It's possible. With some good cosmic timing. Yeah. Jupiter's blasting out its radio show. Yeah. A window opens up in Earth's atmosphere. Right. And boom, Tesla thinks it's aliens. It's entirely possible. We know that 1899, 
Wow. When Tesla was in Colorado Springs, yeah. coincides with a solar minimum. Okay. A period of low solar activity. Uh, oh. So the conditions were, you know, yeah. just right wow. for Jupiter's radio waves to reach Earth. Talk about an astronomical coincidence. But it kind of makes you wonder, yeah. even if it wasn't aliens, Tesla was still, like, way ahead of his time, right? I, absolutely. I mean, he was picking up radio signals from another planet in 1899. I know. It's incredible. He might not have known it was Jupiter, right. but his observations were still, I mean, groundbreaking. Hmm. It just shows his incredible ingenuity. Yeah. His ability to build equipment sensitive enough to pick up these like really faint signals right. from across our solar system. It's a good thing he was so focused on space. Right. Because if he turned his attention to Earth, yeah. he might have heard Marconi sending his first radio message across the Atlantic yeah. just a few years later. That's true. Talk about a misconnection. Oh, a little bit of irony there, isn't it? <laughs> but, you know, even though we have a plausible explanation for those signals, right. even if they weren't extraterrestrial, yeah. there's still something like captivating about Tesla's belief that right. we're not alone in the universe, you know? Yeah. It speaks to that deep human desire to like explore, right. to connect, yeah. to find out if there are others out there like us. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Tesla, this brilliant kind of eccentric inventor, yeah. picking up these signals from the cosmos, right? convinced he's on the verge of this groundbreaking discovery. Yeah. Was he just misinterpreting things? Right. Or was he tapping into something bigger? Right. Something we're still trying to understand today. And that's the beauty of science, isn't it? We keep searching. We wow. keep asking questions. Right. We keep refining our understanding of the universe. Yeah. Tesla might not have had all the answers. Right. But his curiosity, his willingness to explore the unknown, mm. that's a legacy that continues to inspire us today. Absolutely. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember Nikola Tesla, the cosmic detective. Yeah. Listening to the universe and daring to imagine a future filled with possibilities. I love it. Maybe, just maybe, out there among the stars, yeah. someone or something is sending out signals. Right. Waiting for us to tune in. It's possible. This has been our deep dive on Nikola Tesla and the mystery of the signals. Absolutely. Join us next time when we explore another fascinating story from, you know, the cutting edge of science and history.